G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, oh well, we're going to be looking at this thing that looks, that looks very much like a spider. But Stuart, what is this? Uh, this is a Race Star 4-in-1 20 amp ESC, and the reason I'm so excited about this is, well, two things. Number one, this thing's like $30 for four, a 4-in-1 four ESC. Look, and that's some good points and bad points as well, uh, if you take that into consideration. But number two... It's rocking Beo Heli S. So uh, that's going to be awesome uh, because I'm really uh, finding that Beo Heli S is the bomb. So we're going to be chucking this on the bench and I guess having a bit of an overview uh, and just a bit of a quick squiz. All right, let's get started. Alrighty, so uh, here is the little spidery looking thing right here on the bench. And for those people who I guess are new to the hobby and not not really 100% sure what the deal is, essentially this thing is four of these. So this is an ESC and this is a four in one ESC. Uh, and you need an ESC per motor. So whatever motor you're going to be running, you need to have an equivalent ESC to power that. So traditionally what we've used, and I can't remember what type of ESC, I sort of pulled this out of the spares box. Uh, so I can't remember what type of, type of one this is, but traditionally we've uh, usually stuck with some of these uh, I guess like this and then now this is why I'm pretty excited because uh, we have this 4-in-1 ESC. Now Stuart uh, there have been 4-in-1 ESCs in the past but you might be saying why should we jump on the bandwagon or why should we be flying in one of these now? And really, the answer is the price. It is so cheap. Uh, in the past, I never wanted to run one of these because if one of these burn out, and look, ESC seem to be a common component that does fail. It's not too often anymore, but they used to fail a lot in the past. So people were very, very wary of buying, I guess, something where if one of them burn out, you would have to replace the whole lot. So uh, that is why people stuck with these. But with one of these, for 30 bucks, I mean, you can't really complain. Uh, that is that is actually cheaper than if you got each one of these separately. So uh, I really think it is a very smart idea considering how cheap these things are getting now. Now, the reason I'm so excited about this one is, well, not only the price, but it also rocks B or Heli S. And for anybody out there who doesn't know that, that means it has some hardware generated uh, PWM signals. And if you haven't flown with B or Heli S, uh, it makes a massive difference. It feels so smooth. And when you turn it on, it's sort of that arm switch. And if you have your motors idling, they're, they're spinning at like such, such a low speed. You can actually see them very, very slowly sort of drifting around. Really, really nice. Anyway, uh, so that's enough rambling, I guess, about the history of an ESC for a bit of a quick lesson there. Let's uh, peel off this sticker and have a look at what we've got inside. Okie dokie, so uh, I've taken the plastic off and before you do that, uh, you might want to know, it does have these little stickers, these little parts on here, so it just tells you where motors one, two, three, and four, uh, one, two, three, and four are, so it will tell you your motor layout on the ESC board right here. Uh, the first thing I've sort of noticed, uh, and I'm sort of thinking about is, and this is actually changed in the V2 version, but uh, why have they soldered all these on here? So that's something that has changed in the V2 version that's out, and that's only like $2 more, so definitely go check that one as well, I'll leave a link down below. But uh, uh, here you've got your motors, so motors one, two, three, and four. And uh, the one issue I do have with that, as well as uh, you're not going to use these motor leads anyway, because you're going to hook up your motors directly. Um, on here, this doesn't really match the layout of the quad. So this this is how the order should be: one, two three, four, but on this ESC, it's actually going around as one, two, three, and four. So maybe in version two, uh, that is something they could fix because that's gonna match the mapping perfectly in clean flight, very, very easy on the default. At the front here, so you've got your little signal wires uh, coming out just here, your signal and also your voltages, and this thing can take a two to a four S LiPo. So uh, just there, why is that sort of hooked up? Oh, this must be number one, uh, it, so motor one, and then yellow is two, Two. purple is or blue is motor number three and the orange one is motor number four now uh, a big question of these this is the 20 amp version and there also is a 30 amp version I think uh, the 30 amp version might be don't quote me here but somewhere like maybe $50 so a little bit more expensive uh, and something to take note of as well even though this is a 20 amp version you do have a burst rating sort of a, a sort of a setting how many amps they can hold for a short amount of time and that's uh, 25 um, amps on this one so each one of these ESCs can withstand up to 25 amps uh, for a little bit of a short burst so probably under 10 seconds just to keep it safe is that enough on some of the bigger races I would probably say no uh, you really really can draw the amps out quite hard but on some of the smaller ones like an Atom or anything like that I think this would be pretty much perfect 
Now it is using a chipset, and forgive me if I make some mistakes here, but it looks like the BB1 chipset, uh, and that looks like it's running at 24 megahertz. Uh, but I'm not 100%, I'm not an expert on these sorts of things. If you're sort of interested, I guess, in the hardware side of things and uh, those sort of hertz ratings and all that sort of business, uh, there's a guy called uh, Joshua Bradwell, and I'll leave a link to his channel in the description as well. He is like a mad genius, a mad scientist when it comes to ESC. So I know watching his videos, I've learned a ton. So if you're really interested, I guess, in learning exactly how an ESC works and how to get the most out of it, definitely check out his videos because he's got some really cool content. But uh, as far as I know, this ESC, it can run your different types of one shot and also your multi shot and multi shot is pretty much the fastest protocol we have at the moment for uh talking but talking on your escs now big question a lot of people are going to ask and i think it is a bit of a shortcoming of this esc is is there an onboard back and the answer is no so even though you're going to be able to directly connect this up to your uh, lipo battery you're still going to need some sort of 5 volt back to put on here a little palulu or something uh in order to power your flight controller and your receiver and those sorts of bits what would be fantastic if it's somewhere on the board and look i don't know where you would fit it but hopefully that's that's going to be there maybe in version three uh, would be two little pads you could use to solder up and power your flight controller. This thing would be absolutely perfect if it was going to do that. Now it does come with some little extras which I, I think is nice. You get this little sort of adapter cable so maybe if you don't want to use these longer ones because look to be honest we're probably going to cut these anyway but it is nice that you get a second one uh, so you've got one of those and then you also I think this is a nice little touch you also get some little standoffs as well so uh, some little ways of actually securing it to your frame. What we're going to do now let's weigh the thing and see how much it weighs and I'm going to do that without these cables uh, but keep in mind I'm not going to be desoldering this just yet so this is with the cables so if you weighed it without it would probably be significantly lighter right yeah so I'm putting that on here but this is with a ton of wire so it's coming in at about oh there goes one of my batteries it's coming in at about 23 23 grams right there but most of that weight is probably going to be coming from these wires actually because they're very very long and that's a really a big feature i like in the version 2 is how they have removed some of these they've actually removed them all except for the power Alrighty, so with that being said, let's jump over and have a bit of a screenshot and look at version 2. So I think it's like $2 more expensive possibly, or maybe even the same price when you go to check this out. But it uh, it does look at like it has some uh, a few little features that make it even better than this one. So uh, I'm going to leave the links for both of these down below, but uh, definitely let's have a quick look at the V2. Now I know this is just a screenshot here, but the biggest thing you can see straight away is that those wires, I guess, are missing and in their place they have some pads, which is very, very handy. It's still got the layout of white motors one, two, three, and four in the same direction as the V1, so I do wish they would change that. And then this part, probably something that's important to note, and it's a bit of a, I guess, a, an improvement, a significant improvement. Not only does it come with a manual, which can be handy, but it's also running a BB2 chip. So that's rocking, uh, that's at 48 uh, megahertz right there so that is significantly I guess twice as fast as the chip that is in the V1 and of course that can run multi-shot and your one shots and all those lots of things as well now where I think these ESCs are really going to be awesome is in some of these smaller builds. So I've got my Atom V1 here and you can see that I've got my ESCs on the outside. but uh, And they're just some little bees actually. You can see just how big some old old school 20 amp little bees used to be. But if we put this in here, this thing is going to fit perfectly. So it's the same size as your nays and you would be able to make a super clean stack. So some really, really tiny build. It's going to be great to put this inside them. Really clean it up, keep it super light. And uh, if it had an onboard back in here, it would be it would be pretty much a dream i would love to rock these in so many of my builds and of course rocking bio heli s uh that is a massive upgrade as far as uh as far as i'm concerned i'm, I'm loving flying putting bio heli s on as many of the, the sort of quads that i'm testing out and flying around as i can i think it is the bee's knees absolutely awesome Alrighty, so there it is. There's my uh, very quick look at the uh, Raystar 20 amp 4-in-1 Heli S ESC. I'm pretty impressed I could say it like that actually. And uh, just to mention too, just to remind you that there also is a version 2 which is even better. So I'm going to leave a link to both of these in the description down below. And if you're sort of considering putting them in a tight build or maybe you're building an Atom or something that really doesn't have very much space, definitely consider putting one of these in because... Uh, I think for the price, uh, you really can't beat it. Anyway, subscribe for more FPV related content. I hope that helps some of you guys out there. And as always, happy flying. Oh yeah, that all looks good. <clears throat> like a spider.